This is a transmission pan from a 5th gen Chevy Camaro SS. Why? Well, I hear that it holds more fluid, and more fluid means better cooling and maybe smoother shifts. Will I really feel the difference? Well, we're about to find out. Full disclosure, this is not an install video. All right, so I got a new transmission filter to clean out the gunk. Here it is, it's from a Camaro SS, since I'm using a deeper transmission pan, which comes straight out of Camaro SS, and the OEM gasket, which will fit either the stock Chevy SS or the Camaro SS pan. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thumbs up, please, if you like this video. So it's transmission service day, uh, fluid change. Now, I went to the dealer at 45,000 miles, according to the owner's manual, that's when you should service your transmission fluid. So this has been a long time since I had this service. Now, when I went to the dealer, I honestly didn't know what the process would be to do the fluid exchange. So I just trusted them. I think all they did was maybe drain it, but it's not a really a drain pan. There's no drain plug. That little plug there is not really for draining. It's I think it's just for catching, uh, dumping the uh, overflow, overfill during the transmission fluid process. No issues with the transmission. No warnings pop up, no no codes or anything. So I know the 6L80 transmissions in these cars are pretty, pretty beefy and pretty robust. So this is straight out of a Camaro SS. Or is it the other way around? <laughs> I don't know who developed transmission. I just, whatever. General Motors transmission, 6L80. Pretty uh, uh, well-known transmission. So today at 75,000 miles, I'm gonna have a shop actually replace the stock pan, which is uh, with a Camaro SS transmission oil pan, which is thicker, I mean, sorry, deeper than a stock pan. I think in Australia, they had different road conditions that require them to use a shallower pan. I, uh, so I don't know the story behind that. At least that's what I read somewhere, I don't know. Shout out to my buddy Kenny for um, giving me his, uh, his, since he hasn't used it yet, so I owe him a transmission pan. <laughs> um, again, it is the Camaro SS one, it's a direct swap. It's using the same, I, I ordered a new gasket, OEM gasket, and I ordered a new uh, transmission fluid filter uh, that fits the pan, the deeper pan, because it's supposed to go uh, be close to flush to the bottom of the pan to capture all that crud and crap in there. We're going to the shop now to get them to do the swap, put in more, um, uh, more fluid. It's not a flush, so it doesn't clean out all the transmission fluid out of there. I just want a new pan and whatever fluid drops out, replace. I think about six quarts drop out, maybe less. Actually, maybe half that drop out. And I think when they refill it, it, it probably uses, uh, from what I've read, other users are saying six to seven quarts go back for a proper refill. Especially with this aggressive plus tune from Livernois Motorsports, this does shift harder, so I anticipate more wear. I'm not a transmission expert, so let's get this done. All right, so the transmission fluid change, new filter and gasket complete. And I'll tell you right now, I notice a change in the feel of the, sh of the transmission. I, uh, it feels crisper and smoother. And that's not placebo effect. That's not just in my mind. I, I know my car really well. I've driven this thing 75,000 miles. I know. <laughs> and it definitely feels smoother and, and crisper in the shifts. So, yeah, it basic maintenance, preventive maintenance for the C uh, for the uh, 6L80 transmission in this car. I got the deeper Camaro pan, uh, more fluid. Um, I hear it's uh, advisable, not rec not necessary. I don't think, but it's advisable if you have a a more aggressive transmission tune like I do and uh, it, it, it's uh, not a bad thing to have might as well since you're under there right and it's not that much more expensive to do um, and the uh, for those that drive aggressively or track the car I hear you want to upgrade to a deeper pan as well anyway so 
it's pretty cool. So highly recommend it. So 24 hours later. One other interesting thing since I had transmission fluid drained and refilled when I did this Camaro Pan mod is remember that rattling noise I used to hear after a cold start for about 10, 15 seconds or so as I drove away. That sound is gone. Every start I've done since yesterday, since I've had this transmission pan upgrade, fluid changed and replaced, refilled, the, sh the sound is gone. You gotta wonder if the dealer who did the last change at the 45,000 mark, whether or not they did the fluid change correctly or not, I'm going to probably say they did not do it correctly. Shame, shame, shame. And that's about the time period I noticed that sound prominently. Yeah, so it makes sense now. So, lesson learned, guys. Learn it from me. Either do the transmission fluid change yourself. Make sure you take it to a shop that knows what they're doing. I don't know if they did it right or not. It doesn't matter. The water in the bridge was a long time ago. It's done correctly now. The car feels smoother. That sound is gone. Transmission shifts are are not as, they're still crisp, but they're not as, how should I say, abrupt. Still got that punch. Ooh. Aggressive driving enforcement. <laughs> enforcement now, okay. Alright, so I talked about putting red vinyl on the hood to see if it would match. Did it match? Well, we're about to find out. Alright, so this is just a test sheet of vinyl to cover those rock chips. And as you can see, some of the rock chips do kind of show through the vinyl. Now to the average person, it may not be that noticeable. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. But well, you can see these little bumps and ridges where the rock chips would be. So anyway, this is the vinyl part. This is the regular clear coat part. And then you have, see how the line's not perfect cut here? It's kind of jagged. So that's just because it's a test sheet. I'm not, I didn't cover the whole hood. I just wanted to see how it looks throughout the day tomorrow and then two days worth just to see how it looks in different lighting conditions. And then if I like it, I'll put it, I'll get a, a real sheet and cover the whole front. So that's how it looks. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Um, this is the same vinyl that I've been using for a while on the um, 
door handles here. And they've held up for a good year and a half. And most people don't notice, but I actually have little sheets here, vinyl, on the main strike areas of the bumper. Ooh, I need to reapply this one. I didn't, that one's coming up. But you can see all the way here and here as well. So what do you think? Do you think kind of matches the color? A little bit. <laughs> all right. Cool. It's hot out here. Whew. Think of this vinyl solution for the car. <gasps> Yeah, I know. Lizards all around. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below and a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys next time.